Around a couple of weeks ago, I did a trailer for Edge Forever, and now my friend George has agreed to do an interview with me about the Edge Forever website and what they're hoping to achieve and what you can do to help. Let's go! So, I believe we all remember the Edge Forever website that um, uh, my friend George created right here, um, uh, and I did a trailer for him on my YouTube channel. So right now over here I've got a few questions for him, and uh, he's been willing to answer them, so thank you George. Okay. Okay, so first question. What does EDGE FOREVER stand for? It stands for Environmental Devastation Justice. Nice. <laughs> how is EDGE FOREVER, how long has EDGE FOREVER been around for? It's been around for a couple of months, like, I think about one or two months now. We don't have an exact amount of days though. Okay. Why did you make EDGE FOREVER? Well, like, me and my friends have often been quite passionate about the environment and we've always wanted to do something. And we've done small projects before, like we, wanted, we did some letters and stuff. And we just wanted to do something big and we wanted to get a few different friends to get involved. And we just wanted to do what we can to help the environment pretty much. Mm. Well, you've definitely done a good job. Nice to hear your passion. What are your goals with Edge Forever? We do have a full list of goals on the website, but a basic, our main one is just to encourage others to care about the environment and we also want to live sustainably ourselves and we want to help our local, we want to really focus on the local area because oh, we yeah. understand that we can't have a huge impact on the world but we think we might be able to have an impact on our local areas like this local nature reserve we're in now. Oh yeah, yeah, I can see what you're talking about. Okay, can you give a brief explanation of your cause? Well, since the Industrial Revolution about 200 years ago, right. we, um, we've been pumping lots of CO2, mainly CO2, but other greenhouse gases, and that's, effect, and that's rapidly um, caused the climate to heat up, mm -hmm. and that's caused a lot of issues for life and biodiversity, and eventually it will actually affect us. Yes. It will travel up us and we will be affected soon. Mm, so another reason to keep um, uh, the environment clean is yeah. so it doesn't affect, not just affect animals, so it also does not affect us. Yeah. Okay. So why did you make the website? We wanted to have a place to like advertise stuff and we also wanted to uh, like educate people on the environment. So we have a learn section on there, we have an event section where oh, we yeah. kind of we put what we're going to do, we're going to do a cake sale in a few weeks. So oh really? Yeah. And oh, okay. then we're going to um, do, yeah, we just have a couple of different, and we also have a local and general news section, but we're going to keep people updated <coughs> on events. Okay. Got that. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. How are you promoting the website? Mostly via social media like YouTube and Instagram. I know you do a lot of stuff on your YouTube channel. Yes, and, and I I've did, done and a I couple of videos on yeah. my, uh, my Instagram. And I think you've done, I'm not sure if you've done stuff on your TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he definitely has. So we've done some, lots of stuff. And we've also put up posters around, which do have other messages like don't litter. And then they also have our website on them. Yeah. And also, if you can, we also use the hashtag Edge Forever on Instagram and anything else. <laughs> yeah, don't okay. Can others edit the website? Unfortunately, no, because the software I use, Webador, you can't really, it only lets me do it, which okay. I am always asking for suggestions from other members of Edge. Mm, like Charlie, Daisy, yeah. Freddie, me, etc. Yeah, we're always asking to try and improve the website. Yeah, to yeah. Our, do your posters use plastic? They use spare plastic that we didn't buy any plastic for the posters. Oh, so like used... plastic from uh, an empty water bottle. Yeah, and we have stuff that we have to cover our school books in plastic, so we, oh. we use that. Oh, and okay, we're also, better. once we've finished, once we've run out of that, we're not going to buy any plastic. We're going to move on to more sustainable alternatives. Oh, okay. That's, that's not bad. I, I think I'll do that. What happens at, what happens at an Edge Forever meeting, like now? We usually do litter picks and we also discuss topics. So, like here, we're on a meeting now, and we got this letter here. Yeah. And then we discuss extra topics, like the cake sale that I mentioned earlier. Yeah. And other um, things. What would you say to climate change deniers? Well, luckily, um, they can be safely laughed at now, the same level as flat earthers. <laughs> so they're not really too much of a threat to the environment as they were a couple of years ago. Oh, okay. So, 
Luckily, these idiots can be laughed at now. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> okay. Who do you think cause, causes climate change? I don't think there is a single person responsible for causing climate change. Obviously, there are the uh, CEOs of big oil companies like BP or Shell. Mm. And there's, but then they get their money from people. And if we don't, the change has to come from us first. So if we don't start doing stuff to avoid them from getting money, I think they'll carry on doing it. They don't, they don't want to cause climate change, but they just don't care about it. And if it's in their way, they're not going to let it stop them. Right. They okay. just want to make money, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, that's all the questions I have, George. Thank you very much. Right. Back to you. Right, that's all the questions. Thank you very much for answering them, George. Um, uh, do check out the Edge Forever website, link in description. Do follow Charlie and George. Their links to their Instagram and TikTok are in the description. So do like, do subscribe. Uh, more Edge Forever updates will be on the website as well as on the YouTube channel. So stay tuned and see you all next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.